In the wild, white horses have been naturally selected out due to the sensitivity to UV radiation and easy detection to predators. It's this rarity though that makes them a start of symbol to humans and as such they're bred for those traits. Paul Barth and his fellow researchers hypothesised the advantage of white horses is that they're less attractive to tavernets or the blood-sucking horseflies than dark horses. They hypothesised that this was in part based on the lower levels of horizontal polarised light from white horses. So to test this hypothesis, they conducted field observations and some experiments on tavern attractiveness for uh, living horses test surfaces, as well as um, horse models with varying reflective polarisation characteristics. So in the observations, they looked at the reactions of brown and white horses to tavern attacks in a field. They also conducted four experiments. The first with white and brown matte cloth, with half of each piece of cloth covered with a transparent plastic that made the surface shiny. The second experiment used the same cloth and the same plastic, but the plastic was covered with a sticky transparent glue that trapped the tavern. The third experiment used five salad oil for the trays with white, light grey, medium grey, dark grey and black substances that just trap the tablets. And the fourth experiment used three horse models, one white, brown and black, that were also covered with a sticky transparent glue. So the tablets were collated, the number of tablets for each experiment, and the reflective polarisation levels, uh, characteristics of each test surface was also measured. So what they found in the field observations was that although both coloured horses were attacked continuously by tablets, there were on average 3.7 times more tablets on the brown horses than on the white. In experiment one and two, they found that the tablets were not attracted to either colour of the matte surfaces, however they were attracted to the shiny surfaces with the brown more than the white. The third experiment found that with the reflective polarisation of the black surface actually attracted 74.8% of all the tablets and the dark grey surface 19.4% with the remaining of the tablets being trapped between the remaining of the three trays. In relation to the horses, the models, it found that with the brown and black horses there were 15.2 and 25.5 times more tablets respectively than on the white horses. So these results okay, support the hypothesis of the reflective polarisation. Okay, and that white horses are, they have the advantage when it comes to being less attractive to tablets. And this is in part because of the lower horizontal polarisation. However, this is only in part because tablets select their host also based on things such as the heat, uh, motion, brightness, etc. of the host animal. So although this test was uh, done on horses, it could perhaps be carried across all tablet hosts and could be used in consideration to livestock when choosing them in tablet affected areas.